It wasn't exactly my fault, but it ended up getting me in deep, deep trouble. And now I'm left living with this awful mistake that I made. I wish I'd thought it through more. But at the time, I was too excited. As soon as I turned 18, I decided I was getting a tattoo. I'd always wanted one, but legally, I couldn't get one before then without my parents giving me permission, and there was no way my parents would let me do that. So as soon as my 18th birthday came around, I walked into a tattoo parlor in town and presented them with a drawing of a phoenix I'd seen online that I thought would look perfect on my arm. The guy who was going to be doing it for me was super cool. He was covered in tattoos and piercings, and he was pretty enthusiastic about my phoenix design. He changed it up a bit, and then when he showed me the final sketch, I was like, yes, let's do this. You're probably wondering, why a phoenix? Well, I've always been a little bit of a dork, and I absolutely love Greek mythology. Phoenixes are a big deal in mythology, and I thought it would be so awesome to get one on my body. Plus, my grandpa had loved phoenixes, so technically, it was in memory of him too. I figured that if my parents ever found out, they wouldn't be that mad at me if they knew I'd done it for grandpa. Or at least, that's what I told myself anyway. As soon as it was done, the first thing I did was take a photo of it and upload it to social media. It's not like I have many followers or anything, but I knew if I used the hashtags tattoo and hashtag phoenix, I'd be sure to get an influx of likes. And I wasn't wrong. The likes just kept on coming, and people from all around the world were commenting on how incredible it was. Even the guy from the tattoo parlor messaged me thanking me for sharing the photo because as a result, he was now booked out for the rest of the year. It was the summer before college. And now that I had a tattoo, I suddenly felt more confident. Maybe I'd even be able to find myself a cool girlfriend? That's what I was daydreaming about when there came a knock on the door. I wasn't expecting anyone, so I slowly made my way there. I peeked through the peephole and standing there were two cops. I opened the door and nervously smiled. What was going on, I thought. I was not prepared for what happened next. The cops asked me to come down to the station with them, but they wouldn't even offer an explanation. They handcuffed me and put me in the back of their car. And even when I tried to protest, they asked me to keep quiet and said the chief officer would explain everything. I felt like I had been suddenly transported into one of my video games. What on earth had I done? When we reached the station, they took off my handcuffs and escorted me to a little room. Inside was the chief officer, and he asked me to take a seat. I was so nervous, I was visibly sweating, and I could feel my hands beginning to shake. He asked to see my tattoo, and then I was seriously confused. He could tell I was puzzled, and then he went on to explain. My tattoo was apparently a well-known gang symbol in our city, and someone on social media had alerted the cops and told them I was clearly in this gang and had even been sharing this with people. I could feel my face going bright red. I was so shocked I couldn't even reply to the officer when he asked me if this was true. He nodded toward my arm and asked me to show him it. What could I do? It was true I had this tattoo, but I had no idea what it meant. I'm so embarrassed about what happened next. I just burst into tears. There I was, thinking I was all cool for having a tattoo, but now I was a blubbering mess and being accused of being a gang member. If I hadn't been so upset, I would have laughed. It was just such a ridiculous situation to be in. The worst part? They called my parents. And then I knew I was in deep trouble. From the way I cried, it was clear to the officers that they'd made a big mistake in assuming I was some kind of gang member. They apologized profusely and offered to drive me home, but it was too late. My parents had arrived, and they were insanely angry at me. They said, how could I be so stupid as to get a gang tattoo? And they were furious that I'd done it without their permission. Eventually, they cooled down, but I was grounded, even though I was 18. So much for being a cool guy. I even became a laughing stock on social media. I thought I'd never live it down, so there was only one thing for it. I had to get it covered up. I still wanted to keep the phoenix, but the tattoo artist managed to add some trees to it and turn it into a whole nature scene. I decided that life's too short, so I shared it on social media and made a joke about what had happened, and suddenly I was cool again. People thought I was such a legend for turning the situation around and making it positive. Although I do still keep my eye out for anyone with a phoenix tattoo, I don't fancy running into a real-life gang member.